we think that this is one of the best vlogging setups you can buy right now, and here's why. Let's start with the camera, Sony A6300, it's small, it's light and it's 4K. This little beast only weighs 400 grams and is one of the quickest autofocusing systems out of all the mirrorless cameras. It has 425 focus points, phase detection and most importantly face recognition so your face will always be in focus. This helps for the lack of a flip screen although it articulates it doesn't flip fully out so you can't see your face when you're vlogging. However it is possible to connect your phone to the camera through the Sony app and you can use your phone as a screen. It has an incredibly sharp 4k resolution with a 14 stop dynamic range allowing good contrast and good colors. As well as 4k it comes with 120 frames a second in 1080p so you can shoot impressive stuff like this. It has been known to overheat, but when you're vlogging, you probably won't come across that. Much like its cinema cousins, the FS series, this comes with S-Log3 for all you color grading fanatics. That's it for the camera. Now onto this bad boy, the Sigma 18-35 f1.8. note that this is Canon and fit but we'll get onto that later. It has a solid metal build that looks and feels professional. It has a quick and surprisingly quiet autofocus for a non-native lens. Even though we're going to adapt it to E-mount, it's quicker than any Sigma E-mount lens that they have made. Its 1.8 aperture allows a shallow depth and good low light performance. Accompany this with the camera's 120 frames a second. At the 35mm end you can create say a good cinematic B-roll. Many people are comparing the sharpness of this lens to a Canon L lens, which is impressive considering it's half the price. However, it does come in at around 500 pounds today, which is a bit on the pricey side. The wide end of this lens comes in at 18 millimeters, which seems wide enough to vlog with. However, not quite wide enough without having your arm outstretched and this lens weighs 800 grams. So it can be a bit tiring. As this is a Canon fit lens, you'll need this adapter, the Sigma MC11 EF to E mount. to be this specific Sigma adapter as other models are not compatible with continuous autofocus. Not only does this adapter allow you to use this incredible lens, it allows you to use all of these. Another good thing about this adapter is you can update the firmware on it for any improvements they may release in the future. However, it does come in at around £200 and you can buy a half decent lens for that price. Another problem with this is when you attach it to the lens, it adds an extra amount of weight, which as said before, is already a problem. 2006 brought us... In the shallow brackish waters of the tidal Thames, the... Oh. Wow. The extra match! And... 
the JB Gorilla Pod. It wasn't until Casey Neistat took the vlogging scene by storm in 2013 that people started using these. It's extremely strong, surprisingly light, and doesn't take up a lot of room in your bag. It's good for holding the camera into the vlog position. You can hold the camera eye level very easily, getting that classic vlog look. It's bendy design, it's for mounting anywhere to get different shots and time lapses. However, it does come in with the ball head at 70 pound, but you get what you pay for. Now enough of this, let's talk audio. Microphone, you think Rode. With a strong heritage in music production, it's no wonder that so many vloggers use them. The microphone has a built-in preamp, which is an all-in-one solution for high-quality audio. The only downside is they're known to break with their weak plastic builds. The microphone is a bit on the pricey side. For around £140, there are cheaper options out there that produce similar audio quality. But compared to the built-in microphone you're hearing now from the camera, good quality audio is essential. So there it is, this is what we think is the best vlogging setup today. Please let us know what you think of it in the comments below and if you like the content, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.